this is a, uh, we're excited about opening the season. Uh, we, uh, a lot of teams will be open. There's a lot of Division One games going on Friday at night. Uh, people that don't know, uh, probably do not realize what Slippery Rock has become as a, as a, uh, as a team, particularly this year. That this would be a uh, extremely, extremely talented Division Two team. Uh, this is a team with some breaks that can win a uh, Division Two championship. Uh, they return five, five, uh, not five stars, but four of the five stars. The fifth player is a very good player as well. Uh, just scrimmage Navy at Navy was ahead by 30 in the second half. 30 in the second half. They're really were very well coached um, and. Have, uh, with all these seniors, many of them transfers from different schools, have a lot of minutes played already, and we have a work cut out for, them, for us. So uh, it's time to play that type of basketball game, but I think a lot of people think that uh, as we announce Slippery Rock in the football game, this is not uh, your father's Slippery Rock. This is an extremely talented basketball team. Because they have so much experienced uh, veteran talent, how, how good of a test will this be for, for your young guys? It's going to be more than a test. It's going to be the real deal. Where they, they run action that veteran teams run. That you take the, uh, you, know, you look at the Wisconsin teams, which usually have a lot of veterans out there, very few freshmen, and they will uh, run their things so effectively and efficiently that it's, it's difficult for freshmen to, who are usually in take delay a little bit to pick up on it. But we'll, we'll probably have four freshmen out there a great deal, and then we're going to have to grow up real fast because, they, they, because of not only how who they are, but how they play. Really well coached. Do you have an idea of how deep you want to go? And uh, seven or eight, probably. I mean, they're they're good. We're not. We'll play it pretty. We're going to play it pretty tight. They they uh, they have the ability to, like I said, we could not go to Navy and, and be by, up by thirty in the second half right now. I don't know if I've ever had a team go on the road and be up by 30 in the second half. So uh, we we we'll we'll keep it pretty short. Just Can I throw in line up the same two? Well, yeah, that's the plan right now, yes. And then the other three would be Mitch Spike, Mitch, and Mitch Spike, Stauskas, uh, who's got a little bit of a back problem that is questionable, I think, for this game. And uh, John Orford, you know, we'll try and get him in there as well. So he'll be available then? Uh, that's the plan right now. And he's going to go full go today. This first time. You said Stelsky has a back. He, he he's come up with a little bit of a sore back, uh, and uh, we'll see what he can what he can do. He did, not go, he did not go yesterday, and we'll see. Did that come from the game, or is it just? No, just I think wait, sort of uh, waking up wrong or whatever. But he's got a little bit of a spasm going on. John, when you go down to the floor tomorrow night, you just kind of look around and know when you came here, and all this stuff was just on paper and. Now you look around, you got a beautiful facility, the fifth-ranked team in the country, defending Big Ten champion. We just kind of... You know, it's, it won't be just tomorrow. It's almost every day now. When I come in and I see, I see what, we, what, we've, what we have, what uh, our administration has supported, I uh, feel very fortunate. But it won't be just tomorrow. I mean, really, really we're living at uh, what a coach's dream about as far as uh, the support and the, uh, just the young men I get to coach every day, and now the facilities. Uh, it's it's really special, but I, I do appreciate it every day. But tomorrow will be you know an opening game, and uh, it's uh, it's exciting it's exciting for us to have. We're going to have a very very large crowd for an opening game against a Division Two opponent. Just of course, from what you've seen so far, how does the extra rebounding that you have change this team? Well, first of all, I'm not used to it, right? So, but I but I'll, I'll accept it. It's okay. Uh, it, it's hopefully we can get those three or four more possessions. And hopefully we don't turn it over to, because of that to give it up. But uh, Jordan has really become an expert an offensive rebounder. And Mitch is just learning from Jordan every day. Now he's got more size, uh, more girth to be able to get in there. But he really is a, uh, he's got a nose for it as well. And now John can do it as well. Uh, probably not in the same category of Mitch. He's more of a defensive rebounder. And Mitch is a very good defensive rebounder.